to speak today about the curious case of Benjamin Buttons. It is based very, very, very loosely on a satirical piece by F. Scott Fitzgerald. A person is born old, and as they, they go through their life, they get younger and younger and younger and younger, and finally are a little baby at the end who peacefully goes away. It is a love story between Brad Pitt and Kate Blanchett, whom he meets as an old man when she's a young girl, and as his life goes, Backwards, she gets older, and they meet halfway in between. It is like it was written, not coincidentally, by the same guy that wrote Forrest Gump. Gump. It's an episodic tour of America over a period of time. It's an epic fantasy. Oh. It's, an, it's a tour of America, of, and all its things are out to south, everything. Old folks, everything. Mm -hmm. It is, this guy is, is really a... Uh, he's just a character that goes through it. It's less about him than it is... It's Except meant, very cute Brad Pitt. Yes. He gets to be Brad Pitt. He's, he's actually so beautiful in this movie when he's at his apogee, yes. at his best. They, fo they photographed him always in shadow in, the, in that time when he was meant to be like 18 or 19. Mm -hmm. Half of his face was in shadow, and the rest of it had a golden light on it. And they had a wonderful tousled hairdo for him that looked <laughs> like, a, like a kid. He really looked good enough to eat. I mean, he was, he was so pretty. I, to my great surprise, I liked the movie. Uh -huh. it's, it's a wonderful piece of visual. It's got going along the Mississippi, tugboats. It's got a bit of the war in it. It's attacked by submarines, German submarines. Two wars. Two wars. The writers and the directors and all the actors who have been quoted, that they think of it as a meditation on life and death. That is utter nonsense to me. It's, the meditation is something that would happen in a, in a college sophomore, you know, bull <laughs> session. It is absolutely routine and obvious, the idea that... Life is transitory, grab it while you can, all that stuff's in yeah. there. There's only a moment. It's made up of moments, et cetera, et cetera, and grab them while it is. It's, it's, it's all, all those good thoughts. What was interesting is that when he was a young man, he never remembered what it was to be an old man, whereas when you're an old person, you remember what it was to be young. I wish I would have thought that up myself, but it came from, from um, F.X. Sweeney. How they make it Brad Pitt short is still something that you find, I found so fascinating, I wondered how they were going to make him taller. Because don't you remember, it's a lot, tiny person. I know, but they put a head on. Yes. It, you know, actually, the, the, uh, the visual effects are distracting, because actually you're more, that's a serious problem to me. With the movie? With the movie. You, yeah, you keep you, wondering about you're that. You're more interested in that than the character in many times. I didn't find the character at all interesting. He, to me, was the guy that moved through this story. It's a terribly long movie. It's two hours and a half. But I did not find it interminable. I was sorry when it was over. It, see, and I... I was sorry when it was over. I'm, one, I'm the person who found it the longest picture I've ever seen. And if I could have figured a way to get out without disturbing everyone in my aisle, I would have left. The movie begins with Kate Blanchett as a very old woman telling the story of the curious case. And I thought that was u not necessary, useless. Katrina normal. they put yeah. in at the end, but that is, yeah. that is really extraneous. It's a simple-minded idea, actually, and I hate to be, you oh, know. Oh, Lorenz, I'd forgotten Selig. It's like Selig. I know it is. It's awesome. Yes. From the beginning, you knew it was going to happen. And it was sad, and it's... This showed the transitoriness and time and all that stuff, but better people said it better. Just because you're telling the history of our century, you have to be intellectually smart enough to figure out why that is going on and how he relates to it. There, in fact, there is nothing of the social and cultural times of what went on. Well, that's because he can't have any friends. There's nothing that gives you any insight that he has or anyone has. To no, no, the time. It's, it's, it's not meant to be. What I found in the movie actually that was quite affecting, Brad Pitt realizes that he can't be a father because he's getting younger and younger and you can't, and the baby's going to be getting older and that's being no father. So that's why he leaves Cape Blanchett. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about that, Lorenzo, but, truthfully, until you mentioned it because I forgot it was about, touching. It was, it was very it was touching. touching. And actually, it was a, meant to be a brave decision that he made because he obviously was crazy about the kid, but he realized. You know, that this, 
I'm, I, I can't be a father. That is more touching to me. That, than their love story. Than their love story. For me, when you have a film that the filmmakers insist is important and has something to say to everyone in the world, then it really has to make you feel that you have connected in some way with this film. And I never <coughs> connected, <coughs> ever. I resented spending the two and a half hours seeing the movie. Oh, poor baby. But poor baby. <laughs>